So the first step uh, to use the finite element method with the SNAIL project is to create a triangulation in Excel. Uh, how to create a triangulation? We have a template built in Excel. Each one of these uh, numbers must be sequential for X and for Y. So observe, this is uh, the sequential numbering. As many nodes as you need. You can create this for a very large number and then just fill the uh, information that you need. Depending on the orientation on, uh, on the map, you might want to put, might need to put uh, a minus sign. So if you're reading these X coordinates from Google Maps, just remember to put a minus sign. The reason is, if we don't put this minus sign, we will have a reflection. And uh, this is what, this is the triangulation as we said. And let's compare it with uh, the other the triangulation as it was designed. Uh, OK, here it is. So observe, uh, the lines are meaningless in Excel, uh, but we're interested in the nodes, and the nodes coincide. If we go to Excel and set this as a positive number, what we observe is a reflection. So observe these two nodes. These two nodes correspond to these two nodes right here. So just by uh, taking the negative sign of the x coordinate or um, longitude in Google Maps, you will get the correct values for x and y. So you have to go to Google Maps, select point by point at this point, at this moment, and then you have to select the text from Excel. We're going to copy it, and we're going to paste it into a notepad. I have a notepad session open here. Once we paste it into notepad, we observe these white spaces, blank spaces. Well, we have to select the blank space and hit uh, Edit, uh, Replace you will observe something, an invisible character here. We will replace it with nothing. And this will give us the text as we need it. Then we copy this text. We go to Scilab, start Scilab, the console.